Tant que l'on a un cachou, on 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 a So when we look at this text, the lamp for the path to enlightenment, and we abbreviate the meaning, if we were to condense the meaning of this text, we would see that there are three categories of meaning within this text. The first are the teachings that are shared in common with beings of a small capacity or beings of small scope, the teachings shared in common with beings of a medium capacity or medium scope, and the teachings for beings of great capacity or the teachings for beings of great scope. So these three categories are the condensed meaning of or the abbreviated meaning of this text, the lamp for the path to enlightenment. Well that's also again Shajaman Shajatuba is Shajatuba and then Shajatubi and Dodan Khan Kozula, what the Nigel Langri Mazon Yor is, the Nema Then Garzogur Sanji Gusumba Naji, then the woman Lodud, Papa Tumela Suba Jagger Kibasun de Yoris, Jagger Kibasu, then Tetabi Lanji Rimbade, and then Sumba Naji, and then Adisha Nilandu and Kosule, the Sukhan got to Rujin Dunus Umaris, Maribe. So the root of this, or the um, root teaching of this, was given by Shakyamuni Buddha. Um, the teachings that were pronounced by him on Sutra and Tantra. And there are those teachings that are directly Buddhist speech, and then there are the commentaries or the um, explanations given by uh, the Indian pandits, such as Nagarjuna. And these explanations were then passed down and reached Lord Atisha. And then uh, Lord Atisha was able to condense and abbreviate the meaning of all of these uh, great works and, um, uh, can, and uh, create the essence of the stages of the path um, as, um, in the text, The Lamp for the Path to Enlightenment. So what did Buddha speak of? What are the stages of the path for? Um, there are three stages of the path, um, and these stages of the path were um, pronounced because all sentient beings, um, like oneself, wish to have happiness, and all sentient beings wish to be free from suffering. So the eradication of that suffering itself is what, um, is what uh, the stages of the path um, explain. So the stages of the path explain um, how one can eradicate suffering. And there are three different stages that were taught or pronounced by Buddha. That the Nangazo she would Jewa Lanza the Nangazo, Nasun Jeva Yina, Nangazo Gabio Maris, Yawanta Yeda, Dundu del Jeva Yina, Dunga Momio Maris, Nangazo Gabio Maris, Gabio Mare, and then Hadam Melgeva Yina, Nazo Gabio Maris, Hadam Melgeva Yin, Dewa Moa Yoris, and then Tayo Yeta and the Sanje Gay, and then Nasun Maji at Togarje Gure. So when we uh, look at the first uh, level or the um, first stage uh, that was pronounced by Lord Buddha, um, this is a stage for a being who wishes to be free from the suffering of the lower realms. The suffering, uh, the lower realms are plagued by suffering. So if one is born into the um, hell realm or the hungry ghost realm or the um, animal realm, uh, he or she will have to endure large amounts of suffering. But if one was to be born into the gods and the humans uh, realm, in the human realms, uh, there would be a chance for a much uh, greater uh, happiness in those higher realms. So a being um, 
must look for a method to achieve this sort of rebirth. Um, so uh, uh, this type of being recognizes the downfalls of the lower realms and the amounts of suffering that he or she will have to endure if born there and wishes to strive for a rebirth into the higher realms of the humans and gods because of the greater amount of happiness. Um, so the method that was taught um, or the method taught in the teachings shared in common with beings of small capacity um, in order to achieve the uh, rebirth into the higher realms and abandon rebirth into the lower realms was in a focus on refuge in the three jewels, um, ethics, and acknowledgement of downfalls or confession. So it's necessary um, for a being um, in this first category or a being of small capacity to practice refuge and have ethical behavior and acknowledge one's downfalls in order to be free from a lower realm rebirth. And this is the motivation of a being of small capacity. <laughs> And so one needs to look at the Buddha as a doctor, and the Buddha has stated that misdeeds leads to suffering. So because Buddha is all-knowing, um, has the um, omniscient mind or all-knowing mind, he recognizes uh, um, that it's necessary for us to engage in ethical behavior um, and abandon misdeeds because of what those two types of behaviors lead to. So we look at the Buddha as a doctor who can diagnose um, this type of suffering and the Dharma as uh, um, uh, medicine. So at the medium scope, one recognizes the suffering in the higher realms as well. We can even see ourselves, because we are humans, that we have to endure suffering. So uh, we see the suffering um, in this higher realm as a human ourselves. And uh, in the higher realms, one will have to endure the suffering of birth, aging, sickness, and death. The suffering of suffering, the suffering of change, and the pervasive compounded suffering. So all of these types of suffering um, will have to be endured even if one is born into the higher realm. So the medium scope practitioner recognizes uh, the downfalls of the higher realms as well. And So the recognition of the first um, noble truth is uh, the truth of suffering. And then one uh, must look for the actual cause or the root of that suffering. And one will find that action and afflictions are what causes the suffering. And then if one investigates further, one will recognize that the action and afflictions are caused by the grasping at true existence or grasping at true establishment. Um, so one must abandon this mistaken view of the grasping at true establishment and the method in which one can abandon this mistaken view is by practicing the three higher trainings. The three higher trainings, the highest higher training in ethics, highest higher training in concentration, and the highest higher training in wisdom. So it, the highest higher training in concentration uh, utilizes as its object of observation um, the nature of reality or emptiness and the wisdom is the wisdom realizing emptiness um, and that those two coupled with um, ethics will lead one uh, to uh, liberation 
So these three higher trainings will serve as an opponent to the grasping at true existence or true establishment, which will then uh, eradicate the root of suffering, which will then lead one to liberation. So this is the goal of a being of medium capacity or medium scope. It is to abandon rebirth into all of the um, uh, cyclic existence and to achieve liberation through practice of the three higher trainings and so forth. So it is possible um, through these three higher trainings to root out the action and afflictions and the afflictive obstructions um, which uh, uh, block one's ability to achieve liberation. So it is possible to eradicate those, but it is not possible to achieve complete enlightenment or Buddhahood. Uh, the reason for this is that the imprints of those afflictions or the imprints of the afflictive obstructions are still present. And if those are still present, then it's not possible to achieve the all-knowing state of a Buddha. So these are the obstructions to omniscience, which are the imprints of the afflictive obstructions. Um, so one must combine the three higher trainings with the mind that aspires to enlightenment in order to root out or eradicate the imprints of the afflictive obstructions. Um, so uh, one combines the uh, mind that aspires to enlightenment with the three higher trainings and then uh, one is on the Mahayana path or the great vehicle path. So the qualifying feature of the Mahayana path or the great vehicle path is the mind that aspires to enlightenment. And uh, one can achieve Buddhahood if one couples that mind with the three higher trainings. And this becomes a teaching for beings of great capacity or great scope. <laughs> So bodhicitta is an effect, um, and the bodhicitta, because it is an effect, there must be a cause. <coughs> there must be a, a cause. Uh, bodhicitta is the mind that aspires to enlightenment. Um, so uh, because it is an effect, there must be a cause. So there were two teachings given, or two lineages of teachings given, um, in order to achieve the generation of the mind that aspires to enlightenment. Uh, the first is the um, seven-point cause and effect for achieving the mind that aspires to enlightenment. And the second is called equalizing and exchanging self with others. So these are the two uh, causal lineages to achieve the generation of the mind that aspires to enlightenment. So we've gone over this quite a bit. The Dalai Lama also um, goes over this quite a bit. So in the cassettes that we have in the back, um, there's a, quite a bit of uh, teachings on this. So in the future, maybe you can make copies of them um, and you can listen to them because we've given an explanation of this uh, previously. Mm. So we can find many commentaries on the Lamp for the Path to Enlightenment. Uh, we can find the Dalai Lama giving uh, explanation of the stages of the path. And also Jay Rinpoche, um, uh, Lama Tsongkhapa, um, wrote many commentaries to Atisha's Lamp for the Path to Enlightenment, such as the um, uh, the great stages of the path to enlightenment, the Lamrim Chemo, the medium stages of the path to enlightenment, 
and uh, the abbreviated stages of the path to enlightenment. Um, so the Lamrim Chemo, Lamrim Din, and uh, uh, Lamrim Dudun. Um, so and, uh, these were all um, uh, commentaries on the text, The Lamp for the Path to Enlightenment. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. in the uh, Kaiju lineage and Nyingma lin uh, many of the other lineages, um, Sakya Kaiju uh, Nyingma, we can find explanation of the stages of the path as well. But for us to be able to read all of these, it would be difficult because there's so many books. So what we can do is we can take this text, The Lamp for the Path to Enlightenment, because it's quite short and abbreviated and we can memorize it. And we can put this to memory and then begin to analyze the meaning of it um, once we have put it to memory. And then we can extract the meaning of it slowly. Um, and then once we've uh, done this for a period of time, then we can move on to uh, larger commentaries, um, larger commentaries such as the um, uh, um, Lamrim Chemo, Great Stages of the Path to Enlightenment, uh, the Medium Stages of the Path to Enlightenment, or the Abbreviated Stages of the Path to Enlightenment. We can look at the texts by the Indian Pandits such as Nagarjuna's works, and we can look at the uh, direct teachings of Buddha Shakyamuni in the Sutra and the Tantra. Um, so we'll be able to um, uh, look at these more extensive texts uh, once we um, create um, a firm, uh, um, a solid, um, a stable, um, what am I trying to say? Um, once we commit it to mind thoroughly, once we commit this text, the lamp to the path to enlightenment, to mind thoroughly. <laughs> so we can also see um, here at the center we recite the um, source of all my good or the foundation of all good qualities by um, Lama Tsongkhapa. And this is also an abbreviated, um, um, condensed version of the meaning of what we um, are speaking of, stages of the path. <laughs> so when uh, uh, even in Dre Pung at Gol Kamsen, which is the uh, translator's note, that's the uh, small college within Dre Pung that Rinpoche is from. Each there's uh, all the provinces have colleges within Dre Pung and they're named different things, translator's notes. So Rinpoche is from Goal Kamsen. So when new refugees, monks, come into Goal Kamsen, they are made to memorize or put this uh, text lamp uh, for the path to enlightenment by Atisha um, to memory. And uh, then they are given a test and an examination. And if they do not pass the examination uh, and they don't memorize it properly, then they will receive quite a scolding, uh, receive quite a large amount of harsh words. <laughs> 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 So uh, then uh, they study the great texts of the um, Madhyamika, the Prajnaparamita, and the Abhidharma, um, and so forth. And then slowly uh, the um, memorized um, text will unfold or um, will become clearer in their minds. <laughs> So, once one generates the mind that aspires to enlightenment, then he or she becomes a bodhisattva. 
Um, and then uh, the next thing that uh, he or she must do is practice the three higher trainings, the higher training in ethics, the higher training in concentration, <laughs> higher training in wisdom. And the higher training in ethics, at the root of that is the bodhisattva vow for a bodhisattva. And then comes the individual liberation vows. Um, but the root um, of this is, uh, uh, for the bodhisattva is the bodhisattva vow. So then uh, this mind is generated one becomes a bodhisattva and then couples that with the three higher trainings um, and the, the um, ethics um, uh, as explained and concentration um, which has the abil ability to achieve the state of um, special insight um, which utilizes as its object of observation um, emptiness and uh, um, and calm abiding, shine la <laughs> So um, one can uh, combine the uh, special insight with calm abiding um, in the uh, section of concentration in the three higher trainings. So um, this individual um, practice, this bodhisattva practices the three higher trainings in order to achieve his or her goal. So we've already gone over um, the highest higher training in ethics and concentration, and now we've arrived at the highest um, higher training in uh, wisdom. So today um, we're going to be going over the special insight. And special insight um, uh, we can find in Jay Rinpoche's um, uh, great stages of uh, special insight or the great levels of special insight. Um, uh, and that's at least two or three hundred uh, leaflets or pages. Um, so we're going to abbreviate the meaning today of special insight. Okay, so number 53 um, states, Thus, whatever is meditation on selflessness in that it does not observe an inherent nature of phenomena is the cultivation of wisdom. Okay. Thank you. So here uh, we've arrived at the wisdom um, of a special insight. Okay. We're picking up from where we were two weeks ago, correct? I don't know where we were two weeks ago, to be honest. The Dunni Nama. I think that we were on 47 the last time that we taped, but I'm not sure. We can go back and edit later if we miss stanzas. The Adrian, the Shegdu, Gangyan Sena, Chikshena, the Ketset, Nangla, Shiluka, Kashe, the Delpa, Yomare. Mundu Serba. Mundu. It's not a Jibju, Jidun, Jibju Jinga, Kaset Kasung. Jibju Jinga? We made it to 50. We made it to, it's on video? That's the concern because of the book. Right. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> so if we hadn't written down, we should have written down what stanza we were on. I don't have any idea or frame of reference for it. Do you remember? Does anyone remember the last time we taped? 49 is? Okay. Well, I, I say we just go with where Rinpoche. Maybe we should go 50 over again. Okay. Or we can just whatever Rinpoche wants and then we'll edit it later. Who did? Yeah. Instead of. Yeah, let's continue with where he's at now. 
Yeah, because we're kind of on a... Pretty much a dig song. Gang is in a Gemma and lots of cassette, the Selpa, Selwa Zugure. Gemma? Yeah, Tsama Zugure. Gemma. The tearing the Nengachi Nang Sung Digure. Okay, okay, okay. Gemma Nang Sung Digure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That then the man Kashu, that is then the man, Hatun Kuita, Jetan Shiro Mabu or Shiro Marve, and Tuni Lamubi, Tuni Lambi Shiro. Jadon is Shiro's again, Mobi or Jitru, second all of me, Shiro, you are a Maria, Shiro, you are a Jitru, don't you worry. Ah, Yuba, all Panama, Yoba, okay, Shaja Yoba, okay, and then Shaja Yuba, Shaja Yuba, Yuba, all of me, Shiro, Shiro, and you soon you are a Shamata, you are a Kanga, you are a Juduna, Hatun, Karzugre, Swaji, Tuju, Hatun, my champion, Juji, Yomaro, Kanga, and then Hatun, Hatun, Yushadaro, Maria. Chutanjilamibilatu, <laughs> So there are many types of wisdom. Uh, there's wisdom connected to, uh, to all types of existence. There's the wisdom which utilizes its object of observation, um, all phenomena, all different types of existence. So there's a calm abiding and special insight relative to all phenomena as well. Um, so uh, there is, when we speak of wisdom, um, this isn't, an ex um, isn't exclusive to um, this wisdom uh, realizing emptiness. But in this particular case, uh, the special insight and the calm abiding um, that we're speaking of um, uses as its object of observation emptiness. So this type of wisdom is the highest level of wisdom because it's a wisdom which utilizes as its object of observation ultimate truth. Of the two uh, truths, conventional and ultimate truth, the um, wisdom which utilizes um, as its object of observation emptiness um, is ultimate truth. So this is the highest type of wisdom. So the special insight, um, the calm abiding, um, which utilizes as its object of observation um, uh, the wisdom realizing emptiness, and the special insight, which utilizes as its object of observation emptiness, um, are the highest types of wisdom that we can speak of. So um, in this particular case, when we speak of wisdom, it's that type of wisdom, the wisdom of the ultimate truth. Oggi tal hatun kajugure ta chutna ji hatun toni lami bil hatun du shevala ani oma tanju loje chuno demba madu bi chuti shegure chuno demba madu bi chude demba madu ba ani pumbonga bu dalala raji ji toma na baya ta ba ju su taus shero ji bun karzu phai agu ke sanga ju noyo mar ba ani me me zu me zo de ne chuti shegure de ne chuti abu mashina dela me bil hatun to chine yunga yo mar es so um, <clears throat> the, when we look at the um, special insight um, and we look at according to the Madhyamika Prasangika view, the uh, middle way consequence view, um, it's the recognition that all phenomena are not truly established. The lack of true establishment of all phenomena is the, uh, the belief. Um, so in the Heart Sutra we can find um, the quote that says, the five skandhas to be empty of nature. And then uh, it also states uh, that there is no eye, no ear, no nose, etc. So in the Heart Sutra, these pronouncements are uh, basically, according to the Madhyamika Prasangika view, um, that all phenomena are not truly established. Um, so if one does not um, have a firm understanding of this, then uh, the nature 
or the true nature of this uh, emptiness, then it's not possible to achieve the calm abiding which utilizes as its object of observation emptiness, or to achieve special insight which utilizes as its object of observation emptiness. So it's necessary to have an understanding of this in order to achieve those realizations. Ojedadabamadubashewakechewimjusenkarasana,chunadabadruanzimidenzi Tapa Druma in Bashezona, Tapa Drenzing Lul Nerva Nazi, the name Chuna de Boma Druva Shibi, Hatun de Abujonsona, Dungeng Tawa, Chuna de Badruvans in Denzil Nun Wars, Marbe. So it is the grasping at true existence which uh, causes, um, is the root of suffering. So this is where. Um, all the negativities arise from. So what is the method um, to achieve uh, this um, uh, view beyond the grasping at true existence? Because the grasping at true existence is a mistaken view. In the same way that seeing a rope as a snake in a dark room is a mistaken view, this grasping at true existence or grasping at phenomena as being truly established um, is what creates um, uh, all of the types of suffering are at the root of suffering and it's because it is a mistaken view. A non-mistaken view is the recognition that phenomena are not truly established and this serves as an opponent to the mistaken view of grasping at true existence in the same way that the recognition of a rope as a rope and not as a snake um, dispels the mistaken view of, uh, um, of the, um, the rope being something that it is not. Um, so here we use the special insight which utilizes as its object of observation emptiness and this is what serves as an opponent to the root of suffering. What <laughs> So in the great stages of special insight, you can find the, ex the um, uh, clarification that um, things are inexistent. They are not um, non-existent. So uh, we state that the cars and uh, Rimche gave a list of various phenomena. I, didn't, I was clinging on to the concepts. I didn't get all the lists, but the cars and roads and uh, trees and, and so forth, uh, airplanes, trains, um, all of these things are existent but they are not truly established, they are not truly existent. Um, so it's the um, belief that they are um, truly existent or truly established which is the wrong consciousness or the mistaken view. Um, so uh, this um, is what needs to be uh, clarified um, and that um, they are, things are existent but they are not truly existent or truly established. Tachu so um, these things are existent. Um, and how are they existent? They come into being um, through nominal designation or through imputation. Uh, what takes place is there is a collection of things that come together. And then this collection is named or nominally designated as this or that. But there is no independent um, this or that exclusive of that collection beyond the nominal designation. All things come into being through dependent origination. And this dependent origination 
um, uh, creates the lack of true establishment um, or establishes the lack of true establishment. So things come into being through dependent origination, a collection occurs, the collection is named, and because there is a collection that is named, there is no independent this or that exclusive of the collection. So we say the trina then tamche la tore, the trina then che kashe je. Yeah, yeah, okay. <clears throat> so we say I, um, so we say I am, I this or that. Um, uh, there, so we can't say that there is no I, there is not an existent I, because I go somewhere, I suffer, I'm scared. Um, so all of these, or I die, I'm not sure if it was I'm scared or I die, the word's very similar. Um, so uh, the I um, do all of these things, so uh, there is an existent I that is take, um, doing these actions, um, but there is not an inherently, independently existent I. Uh, there is a collection of, uh, so uh, when we investigate further we can say, are, is my arm or my body or any of these things the I? Um, and uh, we will not be able to say yes, uh, but the answer is, is there is a collection of aggregates that come together um, and then are named I. But there is no I that is independent of this collection. If there was an I that was independent of the collection, we could say that the I is truly established or truly existent. But there is no I that is independent of the collection of aggregates. So this is how the I comes into being. So then uh, we look at year, we look at month, we look at day, we look at time. Um, in order for there to be a year, there must be 12 months. Um, so there is a collection of 12 months that we then name year. Um, in order for there to be a month, there must be a collection of 30 days. Um, the 30 days come together and then we have month. But there is no month or year that is exclusive of it, the collection of parts coming together um, that are nominally designated as this or that. Um, there is nothing exclusive of the naming, imputation. So the um I gotta do it one more time. Gonda gonga me pachi. Tem chi yan jer su na. That the road marba. Chu kare in a kangalo daju to no la tun tende ro tende. Tende ta zon to yoba is ta zon to yoza yoba is ta. So, the um, wisdom realizing emptiness is the absolute truth. The wisdom that recognizes that all phenomena do exist, but they, are de they dependently originate. 
Um, there is no independent this or that that is exclusive of the dependent origination that takes place. Um, so they exist, but they exist dependently. And their lack of independence and the wisdom realizing emptiness and the um, special insight which utilizes as its object of observation emptiness um, falls into the category of absolute truth. The absolute truth being the um, lack of true establishment of phenomena or this or that. ตาจุกนอลเดมาดูเดมาเดมาดูเวสันตองโรวาเดมาดูเวสันตองดูเอ่อชื่อท่านที่เดมาดูเวยินดูชื่อท่านที่เมมเบอร์เรสันตองเว
Dame ban gongani de ne shero gombais ne inje tagi jilu yemba wotele wotegi tonda to wosi teje de goras te yu chu no malu be ranji ta ne meme be juze de ishena ane chu no malu ba ol panam na se gomar be chu no malu ba malu be ranji ta ne meme be chu to so ngalo tende re de ba madu bares ranji ta ne meme bares ranji ranji je madu bares de ba madu bares ne chu na chu ta je ranji je madu ba da chu ta je de ba madu ba she be shero ne shero che ba je tende je la ne la tu so gores te gon ba ina la tu gon ba se la gores to ni le che ba she ne ne gon ba de la la tu gon ba se la gores da me ba ne gon ga ni de ne shero gon ba is la tu de be shero gon ba che tres So thus, whatever is meditation on selflessness and that it does not observe an inherent nature of phenomena is the cultivation of wisdom. So here, um, the type of wisdom that one familiarizes oneself with or um, any familiarization with or meditation on selflessness that doesn't observe the incorrect view of there being some sort of independent inherent nature in phenomena Um, is the cultivation of wisdom. So wisdom occurs or is generated and this type of wisdom is generated when one is familiar with the lack of true establishment of phenomena and recognition of the lack of an inherent nature or independent nature of phenomena. Um, so here in this stanza 53 um, we see the, um, uh, the um, clarification of wisdom. And, and how, what, the cultiv um, what the cultivation of wisdom is. What the te chu na malu 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 bi ranjin ta na me da me ba no gongo ni da me ka zo ngaso ta ma li song ka za ge da me ta chu ji da me si yu ngore si ka za de ba ma du ba de le ka za ge da me si ngore si ane ka za ma yin bi chu de ba ma du ba de le chu ji da me si ngore si ne da me na ba yin song ba de si sanje ge da me na ba yin song ba de si ka za ka za de ba ma du ju du na de ba ma du bi cha ta ane ka za de ba ma du ba ro ba Kaza deba madu wa imi jusen karasuna tende imbe jere dipende rejinishin tende yinsa deba madu wa res kaza deba du be chita deba du to man karoto madu wa yinsa deba madu wa res kaza de dali jo ma yin jen de jo ma yin nikali jo ma yin jumen jo ma yin ba yinsa deba madu wa res kaza de raju de na yoba de ta madu raju de na meba de ta madu raju de na yome nika yin ba de ta madu ba yinsa ani deba madu wa res ane jola jo debola jo ba yome jungu ki tenzi jola jo ba duji zimi tenzi ane ngola jo ba chi de duji tenzi ribi jo ba tende ki tenzi ta anda mambo toni jo ba ta peje pashin go de ba le je sun go je ane je dan o ma zawa shiro lo so de su go so an toni jo ba ta anda mambo sun go re smar ba so here it speaks of selflessness And previously we went over uh, the two different types of selflessness which were explained by Lord um, Buddha, the selflessness of person and selflessness of phenomena. So um, the way we differentiate between these two is um, by stating that which is not person um, um, and, is, is, and is existent is necessarily phenomena, uh, so that which is selfless and not selflessness of person is necessarily selflessness um, of phenomena. Existent, let me try this again. That which is not person and is existent um, and is selflessness is necessarily selflessness of phenomena. Um, so here, uh, this is the difference um, between selflessness of phenomena and selflessness of person. So what is the reason that there is selflessness of phenomena? What is the reason given? So we can say that the subject, um, I mean, so what is the reason for selflessness of person? We can say the subject, person, is selfless because it dependently originates. So we can see this pervasion with a reason given or a sign given for um, the um, lack of true establishment or, or the selflessness um, of person. Um, so we can't say that self comes into, uh, that something um, has an independent nature um, because we've already engaged in the analysis of self, um, other, and both. 
So we can see that something is not truly established um, by itself, by something else, or by a collection of both. Um, uh, so we have to state that they are not truly established. Um, so in the um, Prajnaparamita um, uh, teachings, we can see that there are four um, main reasons given um, uh, for uh, the um, lack of true establishment. Um, and then if we look at the root text on wisdom, we can find many uh, root texts on wisdom, the Ma uh, Muya Madhyamika Karika. Uh, we can find many different explanations and reasons given um, for uh, the lack of the selflessness of person or selflessness of phenomena. So here when it says, thus whatever is meditation on selflessness and that it does not observe an inherent nature of phenomenon is the cultivation of wisdom. So here selflessness is as was just described um, and the two types of selflessness, selflessness of person and selflessness of phenomena, then Rinpoche, the je me jason. Don't you do it? Don't do it. Don't you do it? Don't do it. 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 Four correct signs of um, emptiness are no. the only thing that. Pashin gole. Pashin gole. Don't do it. Jason was je. Je de. Don't you do it? Don't do it. Jason was je de. Don't go to the sun. Don't do it. Don't go to the sun. Don't go to the sun. Don't go to the sun. Jab jab ngore ngaru ngaru ngore ane chue kare ina kurung kurung ngoh ngoh deva madu ba. Tene ngaru tu juli jebaris juli jeba deva madu baris ngaru tu juli jebaris juli jeba deva madu baris ngaru tu kan jebu yuare jebu deva madu baris ngoh la jeba juli la jeba jebu la jeba sungi umar ba ngaru tu deva madu ngaru tu kan jebu jeba deva madu ngaru tu ke ngaru tu juli jeba deva madu ba tu bi shero sumbat dale. Nah tak gosong, tapi gosong sir, tapi gosong. Nampak tapi gosong. Ngarus tu dewa madu batu bishera, ngarus tu juli ceba dewa madu batu bishera, ngarus tu dewo dewa madu ba, dewa dua macam ceba tu bishera. Sombu dale, nampak tapi gosong, tapal dua gosong res. Jaga re. Ji tenri roa, tenri ngarus cajin si tera. Ribi ceba tenri ketensis. Cui tanje dewa madu tu tenri ibe si tang de. Don't you do it? Talk to your brothers. Then they get out of your shoes. Then they remember the the je. Nama the je. Alle tambo dello da te. Nge wa je. Don't you do it? Tang da je roa. Tang da je. Tapena. Okay. The tang da je. Tambo de marve. Tambo ngazo. Pena ngalu di shoes is na di gero. Shoes. Demba madu bares. Demba madu de. Demba madu de. Ane raju. Rangi juyi tu su yoba denba madu. Rangi juyi tu su meba denba madu. Rangi juyi tu su yoba denba madu. Nika yimba denba madu. Rangi juyi tu su yoba denba madu. Nika ma yimba denba madu. Katong chin sa wudu da. Okay. So I'll get something for next week. But we are not truly established. There are three qualifying factors which are stated um, and the, um, the Prajnaparamita um, teachings, we can find that our nature, um, uh, whether it is uh, um, Jeff or uh, Rinpoche or Adrian, etc., um, Adrian is in the nature of Adrian and Jeff is the nature of Jeff. And our nature, individual natures, are not truly established. So um, that's the first is nature. And the, our cause is also not truly established. And the, our effect is not truly established. So um, here are three qualifying features that are given. And the uh, four I've got to give you next week. Unless you have, do you have them by chance? Were you able to pick that up in the Tibetan, the four? Yeah, uh, so we'll just, we're not going to... Yeah. So we ourselves are not truly established. <laughs> we are not truly established. We are our own nature. And our nature is not truly established. We are not truly established because we are... Um, not truly established from self or from other. No, as one or as many. Uh, one or many, but chik dan tade is chik uh, one or other self. Okay, one or other, or it can be translated one or other or one or many. Uh, tade can be other also. Jidna, 
Cidden şeca yoru. Cidden tare, şeca one yoru. or other. Şeca or it can yoru. be one or many. Şeca yoru. Şeca gün kalı düğüne ci tadi ni madu yomaru. Yana ci, yana tadi yin guru. Anne, denba çubu yoru madu de kedi yoru yana denba çubu ci dan, denba çubu tadi de çubu bale, denba çubu ci dan, denba tadi de madu ba yin dan, denba madu ba res. So we are not um, truly established from self, we are not truly established from other, not truly established from both. Are not truly established from so, um, something um, all else, right? Mm. It's not established from the. Demba jubi ji na, demba jubi thade mein na, demba mein bares. Demba ra yeh na, demba jubi ji na thade tu chogu bares. Demba jubi ji na thade tu madhu ba yin zang, demba ra madhu bares. Okay, so we can say that it is not truly established because it is not truly established from self or from many or self from other. Um, so because of this not, uh, the, the lack of true establishment of self and lack of true establishment of other, we say that both are not truly established, so we come up with that it is not truly established because it is not truly established from self or from many or self or from other. Nga The ornament to my Uma Chen. Uma Chen. So uh, we can find in the Shandara um, text the um, ornament to the Madhyamika, the, the statement of this that uh, the things are not truly established because they are not truly established from self, other, both. Um, so here we can see that. Um, Uh, it's very similar to um, our own reflection in the mirror. When we uh, have a mirror in front of us and we look at the mirror and we see a reflection of the, in the mirror, there is not an actual face in the other side of the mirror. It's dependent upon the face that is reflecting in the mirror. So even though uh, it, our um, actual nature is in the same way as that actual example of the face in the mirror, The face um, in the mirror comes into being by uh, the actual act, the agent, um, and the action of the seeing the face in the mirror uh, takes place. So this is very similar to the way that we see ourselves come into being, and there is no true establishment. Mm. So, um, so here we see that uh, there is birth, there is a generation. We are born from a mother and father. But uh, the birth um, is not truly established. So, um, then, Triwa Garde. Then 
So we have a birth, but we don't have a, a truly established birth. How do we establish that there is a birth? Because we have a, um, a mother and father which produce that birth, and the mother which uh, produce that birth. So we, that's how we establish that there is a birth. So is the birth um, truly established or not truly established? The Yakshu Rinpoche. What the law? The law of Rinpoche what is? So it, the birth is not truly established. The law of Rinpoche what is? Kari Yoga what is? So if we say there is a truly established birth, then what must must there be? But the Shiru Tanjeng Bage, Shiru Tanjeng Bage, Chuna the law of Rinpoche what you are is. Mm. So the, the non-Buddhist school and the Samkhya tradition or the enumerators, um, uh, they give the reason that things um, are uh, truly established. And the reason that they give is that things are born from them, themselves. So things are created from themselves. So the actual cause is within the effect or it's, and so forth. So the enumerators believe that things are truly established because they are born from self. What the good tangent again, so they state that within, for instance, of flowers, uh, the, the seed is the cause of the flower. But the enumerators state that within that seed which causes the flower, there is the actual flower itself, but we just can't see it very clearly. Uh, we're not able to uh, see it. So they say, um, because there is an inherent cause, um, effect within the cause itself, this produces the, the true establishment, or this produces the fact that the self is truly established, because the self is arisen from self. And the Tanjian, 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 the あの、長野なた、ちゃんだけどそこ、単純に処理、単純に処理ればもうどうす。処理ってね、あんてね、たじゃってね、けないのどうす。あの、レボで充実するよ、ってね、どうす。レボで充実するよな、あの、エンテジ
Mm. So um, what can be said if it is stated that self is arisen from self, then how is it possible if an ant with the potential for a hundred rebirths um, uh, to stand on a blade of grass, if there is an ability to have 100 elephant rebirths, then there are 100 elephants on a blade of grass. And this is absurd and uh, is easily negated. So, uh, since it is not arisen from self, um, then we've um, negated one possibility. So you can't say that it is truly established because it has arisen from self. So uh, then the, the next is a possibility is arisen from other or arisen from many. And all of uh, the Madhyamika Prasangika school is the only school that establishes um, the, the, the fact that things do not um, come into, are not truly established because of many. Um, the Madhyamika Autonomy School or, or the Middle Way Autonomy School, Madhyamika Svatantraka, are the Chittamantran school, mind only school, the Sautrantika school, Sutra school, and the Vabhashika uh, school, the Great Exposition school, all um, have this uh, um, belief of uh, something, um, of uh, the things arising from other or many. So, uh, this belief um, uh, of the Madhyamika um, Svatantraka school or the Middle Way Autonomy school is that. Um, things um, come into being um, through uh, uh, others or uh, other uh, through a connection with other, and because of this uh, um, uh, um, uh, connection with other, um, they come into being through other. So um, all of the schools below the middle uh, Madhyamika Prasangika school establish um, uh, a true establishment in some form or another arisen from other. So we can't say that the causes and conditions are present for the uh, true existence. Um, they are not truly existent, and the way we can establish it is that the causes for true existence and the conditions for true existence are not present. Mm. 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 So um, the third possibility is arisen from both. And this is what uh, the naked ones or the Jain tradition um, believe. Uh, the Jains believe that uh, there is a um, arisal from self and arisal from other. Um, and this is how uh, they posit true establishment. Um, but the um, higher schools um, negate this possibility because of the prior negation of the generation um, of, uh, or the um, uh, coming into being through self and other and the establishment of true establishment. Um, so because both of those are already negated, then both uh, together are necessarily um, negated as well. So um, this defeats the um, Jain view that things are risen from both. <laughs> 
جمیل جو میدان دبا جو جو میں سکے جاں پہ رہس مر بہ جاں پہ کے دوجے گول جو یو مارس جو میں بل جی بارس ماجی دان پھکو کے دان جو چھ سے چلے آ رہس یوں تو بولو چھ دان کے سو جو مار جو یو مار جی بار جمیل جو یہ دان دبا جو جو یو رہس وہ دل ہو دے چان چیم با چان چیم با دن کے کھیل رو دا دال جو کھیل رو تاجے با دال جو رو जेन ले चुवा खेल लेंगे राजू बा में चेरो आ निकल चुवा खेल लेंगे जेन जेन ट्रेडिशन जुमेल चुवा खेल लेंगे जांपे जांपे ओ जांपे जांच I get those two confused so जांपेंबा are the nihilists so um, there is uh, the fourth possibility is causeless um, so um, the belief of the um, the this system is that um, things are not caused and one example that they give is a peacock. Um, they state that a peacock has all of these wonderful, brilliant colors, but there is no painter of those colors. Um, so they just, uh, the peacock's colors are because they are, and they are ca not caused by anything. Um, so the, uh, this particular tradition um, believes that things are causeless. Then the konso ke lengudu, the pala, the pugo, mazam shal digurbe. So the nihilists assert, um, I just wanted to clarify that I, I had the right name, the nihilists assert that because there is no future life, then whatever one wishes to do in this life is fine. Um, there aren't consequences. It's okay to do whatever one would uh, wish to do. Sedil kasi cici cun takar emas itu cewa sama cici orang sedih kali karur itu dia orang mari cipta aku cewa sama dia orang cipta. So it's uh, difficult if we say next life. So they just state, oh, there is no future life. Um, so this uh, during this life is all there is. So there is it's not um, necessary for modification. Anda sih nol sama kau ramu mudi. Sih kita sih kau sama sama segmar be. Enza ramu dua. Sing tu 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 kan yo macam cebal tak ko? Kangal jum eh jum eh balce balas tu kor. Jum eh balce bah ini tan dembat tu bici orang kor. Tapi orang lu kita jum eh balce orang kawan kangal jum eh balce balas. Pogo paham balce kan dua as. Yang ni sing tu sal balce kan dua as. Jum eh sana kandar sendiri lagu orang tak kor. Dene de tambo de sing nangwa kari kelang tu. Sama lor sama segera. Sama dengan kari. Sama dengan suatu yang kau nama je dua tu sing. Roots. Roots. Do you know the sama? Sama is bean, I thought, but. Like a thorn, like a needle? Okay, so the beans and uh, uh, trees and so forth, all of these things don't have a creator. Um, so this is the essence, not the exact example is unclear, I think, but um, these things do not have a creator, so they are causeless. Um, so um, this is the statement um, that they make. Now this is very easy to negate. Um, one only has to say, um, how is a child born? A child is born from a mother and a father. These two things obviously have to come <laughs> together. <laughs> Uh, so you don't see a child being born, you don't see a sprout uh, coming from the earth, you don't see all of these things happening. Um, so it's, their actual tenant system is um, easily negated. Maybe Jusen Karasan, Dali Jawa Mahi, Jenle Jawa Mahi, Nikali Jawa Mahi, Jumel Jawa Mahi, Beshers. So we can state um, that things are, are, not, uh, truly are, are not truly established um, uh, because their arisal is not truly established um, from self, from other or many, um, from both or causeless. Um, so we, we, these four possibilities are negated self, many, both or causeless. 
Oggi, tanto ne sa o se rongo un godo di lui, da le mani, gen le mani, ni le mani, gen le mani, non può cantare con la gente, 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 Carri sono dalle giovani, gelle giovani, nigale giovani, gemelle giovani, bese. So I should go go to the waters. So we can find in the Mulya Madhya Mika Karika by Nagarjuna um, the statement that um, things uh, arisal is not truly established, are not truly established because they um, are not truly established because of self, other, um, both, or um, uh, causeless. Um, So uh, because of this um, nature, we state that there is no um, uh, truly, true establishment. Um, there is no true establishment. That is the Lord of Chaka Kabore. That is the Tendi Ashuris Tendi. Tendi in Bishop Tendi, the Rebija of Tendi Tensis. Tendi Tang and the Rebuki Tony Dubetagan and Jaburis. And the Chuk Nola Tembama Dubaris. Deep in the resignation. Because not truly is the way. So the king of reason, or the best uh, reason that is given, is dependent origination. Um, this or that is not truly established because it dependently originates. When we think about, think along these lines, uh, this is the best way of reasoning in which we can establish the lack of true establishment. Oggi, tante ne dribbola che vi ho messo in questo senso qua, So, but yes, we are born, we do have arisal, and we do have effects, do we not? Do we not go to the bathroom? Do we not urinate? Do these things not happen? These are all effects um, of us. But these effects and the, um, our causes are not truly established. So this is what we're positing. We're positing that they are not truly established, but yes, we are caused, and yes, we do have effects. ジュイトゥスヨバデモマドゥバレスデブジュイトゥスメバデモマドゥバレスニジェロワデブジュイトゥスヨバデメバニガイマデモマドゥバレスニガマインビデモマドゥバレスニガマインビデモマドゥバレ
Matu, matu ke ju to, matu je phalawa. Matu ke ju sana phalawa causes. Ju ju sana, ju ju sana kare. Causes. Causes. Phalawa is. Phalawa causes. Depends on the flowers causes. Causes not truly existing. The flowers causes which are not truly existing. Phalawa is. Phalawa causes. Not truly existing. The causes of a flower are not truly established. The flower and the causes of the flowers are not truly established. Palawa, the palawa causes not truly established. Not, okay. Meba demo And the non-existence, mm. that's the part, meba demo. The existence, demo. Of, the existence of the flower and the flower's causes are not truly established, and the non-existence of the flower and the flower's causes are not truly established. Oh, so it's just, <laughs> that's why, <laughs> yeah, so, they just, so the non-existence <laughs> of the flower. Okay. Okay. They are existence, but they're not inherently established existent. They are not inherently established existence. So the non-existence of the flower and the seed are not truly established. The causes the non-existence of those is not truly established. Right. So both the um, cause of the flower, um, the existence of the um, seed in the flower, and the non-existence of the seed in the flower are um, not truly established. Oh, I'm sorry, it was, not, it was not the flower and its causes, it was the causes of that flower. <laughs> The flowers causes, flowers causes. So flowers cause the non-existence and existence of flowers causes are not truly established. The uh, existence of flowers causes and the non-existence of flowers causes are not truly established. Um, both, so of them both of them together are not truly established because we've negated um, both of them individually already. So the non-existence of the um, flower and its causes. So, um, so uh, something which is neither, but I'm trying to figure out how to say it correctly. So something which is neither the existence of flower and its ca causes or the non-existence of flower and its causes um, something which is neither the, of those is not truly established. What's not the non-existence of flower and its causes? Those two things cover all phenomena. <laughs> no, mm -mm. those two things cover all phenomena. The nikamayimbi mu, the yomari mepa. Deba dubare, ma dubare. 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 ニカマインビムヨ。ニカマインビムヨ。ニカマインビムヨ。ニカマインビムヨ。ニカマインビムヨ。ニカマインビムヨ。ニカマインビムヨ。ニカマインビムヨ。ニカマインビムヨ。
But Jeff is an example of the lack of non-existence of the cause of flower. I don't cause a flower. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Mm -hmm. So when we grasp at ourselves as truly established, this is a mistake in wrong consciousness. So when, we, so when we believe that we ourselves are truly established, then this uh, um, grasping at true establishment is what causes us to have to suffer. So once we recognize that we are not truly established, this becomes a door to nirvana or door to liberation. So uh, our own causes are not truly established. So the wisdom which recognizes that our causes are not truly established is the door to liberation. Mm. So also the recognition um, that our effects are not truly established, that we do have produce effects, but the effects that we produce are not truly established is the door to liberation as well. So the, the three doors to liberation, isn't that too? Then, so the, the three doors to liberation, I was just um, clarifying, are the ones that were previously stated, um, our nature, our um, uh, uh, cause, and our effect, truly established. So the three doors to liberation are those three reasons. Is, it's just a name, just a technical name. So there are three uh, correct signs that are given um, which uh, state that things are not truly established. The correct signs that the nature of uh, the established are not truly established, that the cause um, of that and the effect it produces are not truly established. So these are three correct signs to establish the lack of true establishment. Mm. Mm. Shewa the three types of wisdom or three doors to liberation is the recognition that our nature is of emptiness, the cause is not truly established, and the effect is not truly established. So slowly we'll be able to understand this. Slowly we'll be able to understand these things by looking at the Dalai Lama's books and commentaries and all the translations of various texts in English and whether or not the Prajnaparamita has been translated into English, I'm not really sure, but there are many different commentaries and texts um, with, uh, by Nagarjuna and the Indian Pandits and so forth um, that one can read in order to ascertain the meaning of these things. 
in a tanga so de machine or little head you are a turkey calical churros de calical in yen and calical coin mursimar. And now inside the camera, the machine, we have all of these as well, so you can slowly um, listen to these things and clarify anything that um, you, any misunderstanding. Uh, Adrian's machine um, has uh, been so helpful. Thank you very you much, Adrian. John, Adrian and John uh, 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 both. Uh, uh, the Adrian and John. Got it. Uh, Adrian and John and all of the um, workers at the center, the, um, uh, the leaders of the center, um, have mm -hmm. done so many things. Been Sende, so helpful. Um, the, the, Sent that's happening. Got it. So those leaders like to work on the center. Um, this is very good. Enjoy working uh, for the center, and this is very good. So maybe when I die, this will be helpful in the future. So if I'm not, this is something funny in there too, but if I, I'm not uh, here, then everybody will be able to, to see, this is what he said, see the fat Geshe uh, teaching um, these things. And maybe they'll say, oh, this is fine, but this isn't fine. <laughs> it's good if they do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we'll uh, quickly do the concluding prayers. Can you just ask for what the definition of nature is? The, I'm not going to be able to literally train. I mean, we can do that and literally get it. But no, it's any got it. No, it's not. Adrian is Adrian's nature. He is his nature. The house is its nature. So the, the, Adrian is Adrian's nature. It's the um, name that we have for Adrian. Is Adrian is Adrian's nature. So we don't want, we can't say though that that which is Adrian's nature is necessarily Adrian because Adrian's nature is of emptiness and emptiness is not Adrian. Adrian's impermanence is Adrian's nature. Adrian's uh, lack of true establishment is Adrian's Adrian nature. Origination, Adrian Adrian's dependent origination is Adrian's Adrian nature. Adrian Adrian's consciousness is Adrian's nature. Adrian is Adrian's nature. So all phenomena are similar. Yeah. The Dutoroa is Karoki Tseni Show, Dutoroa Chuch and Karoki Tseni. Yeah, yeah. No, the uh, Sanjay So we can say that, um, see, it's just an English problem here. We can say that. Um, the nature of Buddha nature is Buddha nature, but Buddha nature is not, uh, that which is um, uh, Buddha nature is not necessarily the nature of Buddha nature, because emptiness is the nature of Buddha nature, but is not Buddha nature. So, I think she was asking maybe with respect to Adrian, like is Adrian's no. Buddha nature? No. With the with respect of nature, reality. He's talking about the two words and the differentiation between them. So Sanjegi Rik Dang Sanjegi Rik in all Yene Sanjegi Rik Yena, no Yimbi my chap, Sanjegi Rik, Sheba, the Sanjegi Rik, Isheba, Yaga to Sumarbe, Isheba Shambata, Hijit to Sukhangalo, Isi Shebaro, Sanjegi Rik, Sanjegi Rik Morris. So the mental consciousness is what 
um, uh, is the um, Buddha potential or Buddha nature. Mm -hmm. um, so things such as love and compassion and so forth are the Buddha potential or, or Buddha nature. So that love and compassion and so forth is the nature of the Buddha nature or the Buddha potential. So it's actually a better word to use, potential. Buddha nature is loaded. So if you say Buddha potential, um, that's a little worse of a translation, but less loaded as an English word. So um, that's why I use potential, because this happens usually. What did that word? Tasha, Tasha, more is? Stasha is Tasha's nature. Tasha, more in Tasha, much loaded. All of Stasha's nature is not necessarily Stasha. Tasha, Demba, Madruba, Tasha, more is? Stasha's um, lack of true establishment is Stasha's nature. Tasha, Demba, Madruba, Tasha, more is? Stasha's lack of true establishment is not Stasha. Tasha, Demba, Madruba, Tapa is? Stasha's um, lack of true establishment is permanent. Tasha impermanent is. Stasha is impermanent. What then is in the Solomon with the So you can think of many things. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the same. There's here some jibaris. Yeah? What you do and do do that? I don't even think I can go to work. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I can think. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go through the concluding prayers rather quickly because Rinpoche needs to eat at 12, so let's uh, begin uh, with the concluding mandala offering and dedication prayer only in Tibetan, and we will do it a little faster than usual. <clears throat> Jambe <laughs> Dajen gewe tsawa de kunjan sampo chu chie ra tu ngo wa ni Ngam ri ra weng ho weng xin yam di Mhen nam de wa ma lu nyong weng he Jen re zi wan ten zi Yeah. 